question is from MJ Langevin. I am 190 pounds and intermittent fast from the hours of 8 p.m. and 12 p.m. the next day. What are some examples of how I can get enough protein in between those times of eating? And is it possible to still burn fat and build muscle while, while going about it this way? This, is, this has gone out of hand. This intermittent fasting thing has just gotten so out of hand. You know what we used to call that uh, back Starving. in the day? Yeah. Oh, you're skipping breakfast. You're, you're, or you're not eating uh, you know, frequently enough. In fact, nine out of ten times, if I got a client back in the day that told me that this is how they ate, I would recommend that they start eating breakfast. Uh, I, I, absolutely, right. because yep. you're missing nutrients. Mm -hmm. If the if the challenge is I can't get enough nutrients that my body needs, i.e. protein for building muscle, and I need help with figuring out how to fit in the window, give yourself a bigger window. Right. And, yeah. and Stop worrying about it. Intermittent fasting is not mm -hmm. that miraculous. I know we wrote a guide on it. We talk about the benefits of it, but this is where it's gotten out of hand is when we start to do it right. for, for whatever reasons that you've been sold on it, and it's actually now getting to a point where it's impeding. Well, it's been distorted. It's been impeding. It's now impeding what your body needs to build muscle, which is our, maybe your ideal situation or what you're trying to target here or your ad adaptation you're seeking. And now because that you are you're stuck in this, you know, uh, intermittent fasting program. Yeah, that you're I, I can't eat. I can't I, eat for right. these hours. Yes, yes, you can eat a meal because mm -hmm. you need it because you're. Right. It, you, you you need the extra protein, and that's that's more important than you hitting your your window target. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny too. The 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 benefits that you see from short fasts, which is what intermittent fasting is. Most, if not all, of the benefits come from the calorie restriction that it ends up indirectly causing. Okay, so. When you look at the studies and they say, oh, look, people who don't eat between, you know, 8 p.m. and noon or whatever. And by the way, there are health benefits to not eating too close to bedtime. That's totally different. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the big window of, of not eating, you know, during the first half of the day or whatever. Studies that show the benefits that, that come from that. You can look at ben you can look at those studies and find that in reality, what the benefits are coming from is the fact that people are eating less calories because they've limited the amount of time that they're eating. Because you're not eating till noon, you're naturally eating less calories. Mm -hmm. And that has all kinds of benefits. I mean, just reducing your calories will, call, will cause cell autophagy to happen, which you'll see in, in fasting. Now, long fasting is a totally different story. Fasting for 28 hours, or excuse me, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, totally different. It's got tremendous health benefits, should be done not often, should be done you know, maybe once a year, or twice a year. But this whole trend right yeah. here, all it's done is it's given a name to people who don't eat breakfast. Yeah, it, I, I, honestly, that's what it is. I, like, I, I think that like it's challenging a lot of times for people to reduce calories. And I think this is a way to sort of trick, you know, you into it because that, that's a major meal you're just cutting out. And like all of a sudden now at the end of the total of the day, you know, your, your overall calories go down. And so that's great. Uh, however, like even now I'm, I'm less to promote like something like that, where it's in this anabolic window or, you know, or, or just this window, they call it anabolic fasting. Now that's what I was trying yeah. to get at, which is totally distorted, you know, the benefits behind fasting in general for me, uh, to recommend. But, uh, yeah, like if I'm going to tell somebody or like have them go through a fast, it's usually like a 24 hour fast to be able to, you know, really receive or 72 even to get like, like all the health benefits of it not necessarily like trying to reduce body fat and get all these like other well, attributes the, the clients that we recommend intermittent fasting to are the ones that we're trying to break a relation a bad relationship with food yeah. i i don't recommend and it's people who have to eat every other i, hour I don't recommend yeah. inter, intermittent fasting for 90 percent of the population i do for my competitors, which I used to love to do because nobody was doing that. Yeah. Nobody had a bikini competitor and would in the middle of her diet go, You're gonna you're gonna fast for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. No one else would do that. They would think they would lose all kinds of muscle. That was but what I would try and do, I was trying to break that we're married to every two hours having to have a meal. And what's great yeah. with someone like that. They're so calculated about their macros. It would be very easy to now just shut off that window, and they would and they wouldn't go. They wouldn't get hurt from not having a day of hitting their protein intake because they're so consistent with it all the other times. The average person who already suffers from not getting enough protein intake that is now also intermittent fasting and is now asking me a question like, "How do I fit the protein in this window?" Don't do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not the right person for intermittent fasting. If you're struggling to hit your protein intake. 
consistently in that window, then intermittent fasting is not a good tool for you. Right. Yeah. And, and by the way, you know, it's funny that people do this fasting. And I used to do this as well where I wouldn't, you know, if I did a, a, a period without eating, it would be the first half of the day. Studies show it might be better to do the reverse. So if you want to do this kind of a fast, you're probably better off rather than not eating your first meal at till noon. You're probably better off eating in the morning and then cutting it off and giving yourself time without food before bed uh, if you want to really start to split hairs. But look, at the end of the day, uh, you want to hit your protein intake. You know what you do? Eat breakfast and you're done. You got it. It's not a problem. If anything, you'll notice benefits.